when Chevrolet hit me up like I literally was screaming I'm still like screaming on the inside this is I can't even wrap my head around it I'm still trying to process it to be honest and of course it's tradition to watch Elf or the Grinch while decorating and we're starting the traditions with our family this year our little baby you want to smile you want to smile you want to smile He's gonna be left-handed like daddy or right-handed like mommy or we can even use your toe like what mommy. hand you want to use <laughs> yeah also like mommy look at how cute oh my gosh uh -oh. Dang, daddy, that's a big Chevy daddy. Oh my gosh. If y'all could see this color in person, it's like a candied apple. Oh my gosh, she is sexy. How cute. They gave us little balloons for Chevy. Aww. Bad boy. Purr. We're finna need to upgrade main. Oh my god, this is so sexy. I love the black seats with the red stitching. I know. The screens. You're gonna have to start driving at this point of view. <laughs> oh my god, headphones? <laughs> what? That's sick. You better go get your license and <laughs> your driving, Girl. baby. Let me show you a little something else we got here. Sick, not the electronic seeds. That's not it. Oh my god, what? Those will go down, but we just gotta move them back. So when we're not hauling the dogs and the kids, look how much room. Oh my here. gosh, we can go on a road trip. Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. There's so much room. I mean it's pretty much like the same thing as the trail boss that we have, but just way bigger. Too bad Chevrolet couldn't just accidentally forget to not take it back. <laughs> you just cancel the pickup date. Yeah. <laughs> Chevy's going on his first adventure today. We're officially on our first mini road trip, if you will. <laughs> Not really a road trip, but I guess as a family, technically it is because this is like baby steps, you know? We're kind of like testing waters, but so far Chevy loves car rides. Like every time we've gone to the doctor and if he's been fussy at all, as soon as we put him in the car seat and into the car, knocks out it works like magic also for our dogs like all of our piggies have always loved car rides we got the piggies in the back maui ko is knocked out and then we have little chevs over here and then we got daddy as our chauffeur you were supposed to be the chauffeur <laughs> girl honestly i wouldn't mind driving this thing is so sick i would have brought along my switch and had it right here <laughs> and play games the whole time yeah. we are obsessed with this tahoe and honestly it's been one of our dream cars for a very long time we've wanted to get either a tahoe or a suburban which is obviously the bigger size but because they're so big we couldn't justify having such a big vehicle and now that we have a family and the piggies it literally is like the perfect size for us i still can't believe that Chevrolet hit us up you guys this has been a dream come true if you guys watched our video announcing Chevy's name we did a whole story time on the meaning behind his name and like why we love it and why it means so much to us if you guys haven't watched that video I'll link it here so you can go catch up on that one but dude when Chevrolet hit me up like I literally was screaming I'm still like screaming on the inside this is 
I can't even wrap my head around it. I'm still trying to process it, to be honest. I think it was like a week before Chevy was born. So the way that I'm literally still shook about it, they had it delivered and dropped it off to our house the other day. We're so geeked out, like honestly such a dream come true i know i keep saying that but i'm just like oh, i feel so so grateful the fact that chevrolet even knows who we are like we have been such diehard fans and especially this comes from obviously eldon's dad's love for chevrolet and he would be so proud and so stoked this is not only a huge opportunity and such a special memory for eldon and i but such a cool story to share with chevy when he grows up like literally iconic I can't think of anything more iconic than this. I'll never get sick of this drive up. It's so pretty. Chevy's still knocked out. We made it to Santa Barbara. We're at the wharf and it's so pretty. I didn't know you can drive on here. Look at this Santa Barb's view. I think we're gonna go get something to eat and maybe a little coffee or some. So we just took them. Well, daddy just took them go to the bathroom it's such a beautiful day it's so windy we just came down to the boardwalk oh look at that cute little guy <laughs> staring at each other <laughs> oh it's a frenchie it's not a pug it's a frenchie he's really friendly with pugs that we live next oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found it dude taking a quick pit stop you guys love walking? Such a nice day, huh? Oh, my baby's waking up. Good morning. Oh, big yawn. Oh my gosh, you guys. We just met the absolute most sweetest subscriber. She was so sweet and she started crying. She was like, I loved your birth video. And she's like, I cried. He's like, yeah, she really was crying. And it was so sad. Well, like so heartwarming, but so sad. Look how pretty it is at nighttime. Everything's all lit up. Guess what time it is? It's time! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you guys excited as us? <laughs> They're wondering what's in the box. I know. <laughs> Got a special delivery straight from the garage. Oh, God. Here, this corner. Yeah. Can you move it? I'm so excited. We're getting a little bit earlier of a start this year because we're hosting our very first, well, actually, our first anything. Um, in a couple days, we are having Friendsgiving with a group of our close friends this is going to be our very first time being host mm -hmm. and i wanted everything to be like warm and cozy and like decorated so we're gonna have all the vibes mama holiday festive holiday vibes <laughs> Say shout out to Izzy and Luca for my little outfit, my little fit. We just need like a little beanie to complete the look, huh? Did you confirm? Doesn't want to get off the bed. Did you move it with him on it? No. Oh, he got back on it. Yeah. And of course, it's tradition to watch Elf or The Grinch while decorating. And we're starting the traditions with our family this year, our little baby. I've been watching this movie since I was a kid. And it's like vintage now for him. <laughs> Imagine when he's our age. This shit's gonna be like black and white. You wanna help daddy? Look at that's a Christmas tree. Oh, big yawn. Should we help daddy? You wanna see the Christmas tree? Are we gonna move this a little more over the couch? Probably so a little bit. The, yeah. You know, because we're gonna have lots of presents for our baby this year. Just kidding. Are we? 
<laughs> I don't even know. Maybe once Bubba gets bigger and understands, he'll get gifts. Maybe he'll get like one or two this year. Do we wrap them so he can unwrap them? Yeah. <laughs> well, Daddy says you're getting gifts and you're getting gifts, boy. This tree is literally so easy to set up. It's from King of Christmas. We got this one last year from them and it's already pre-lit so makes it super easy but it's always been a tradition with my family to go pick out a Christmas tree so I think we're gonna do that with him this year I don't know how many years we're gonna do that with him but I think we should definitely do it for his first year even though he's not even gonna remember <laughs> maybe a little one. yeah maybe a little baby one I honestly just miss the smell of Christmas trees like there's nothing that beats it like waking up every morning and coming out and smelling the tree in your whole house is just like so nostalgic. Are you ready for the finale? The grand finale. Or not. Is there a remote in that box? Opening. Okay, you ready? He loves lights too, so it'll be fun to see him looking at all the lights. I'll leave the bending and twisting up to you to make it. The uh, judging? Yeah. Judging the tree. Oh my goodness! He's so pretty! Look, he's looking at it. Oh my goodness! The only thing I don't like about this tree is that the lights are so warm. Like, very gold, if you will. So I think we're actually gonna put our twinkle lights on it this year because we did not spend all that money for no reason. We, we didn't end up using them last year because the tree's already pre-lit. But when I saw how yellow the lights are, I was like kind of bummed because I like the temperature of the ones that we got a year or a few years before. And those lights were not cheap, mama. Desi and Katie sold us on those <laughs> back in I think it was like 2019. I'm obsessed with those lights, but they're just a lot of work to string or to string on. So I'll leave that to you too. <laughs> no, you can help I did the heavy work and you did the tedious no, work. Oh, you're gonna help me. <laughs> Shelby, you're gonna help mommy? We gotta make a tradition every single year and oh. you gotta hang up your, oh, we forgot to show them. No, I was gonna tell you too. Um, at the shopping center, they put up the huge tree when I was there. Oh, they did? Yes, I think yesterday. Aww. They were putting it up. And it, it's a huge real tree. Is it? No, oh, that is big. Yeah, he has to put on his first ornament. I know. First well, ornament. maybe... On the tree. Maybe after. I showed this on my Instagram story, so you guys might have seen it there. But my parents just got back from a nine-week trip in Europe. And my mom got us a bunch of little um, souvenirs for Chevy from like... A bunch of different countries mm -hmm. and this one i think was from germany and it says baby's first christmas i'm so cute it's so cute this is yours this is your chevy look at that cute <laughs> he's looking at the red light on yeah we have to have him put it on but we'll finish um the lights and everything and then we'll do this with you guys together yay it's christmas what's so funny huh Huh? Okay. Huh? Okay. Is that funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. 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 You wanna smile? You wanna smile? <laughs> yeah. You wanna smile? You talking to daddy? Yeah. 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 She's so funny. <laughs> we just came to Home Goods doing a little Christmas decor shopping, picking up some good things. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my nails. 
a little chrome moment. We're trying to find some cute festive towels for the kitchen and the bathroom. I kind of like these for the kitchen, but then we have more like cool tones in there. Okay, we have finally decided. We got this one for the kitchen, has like a little red moment. And then we got this one for the guest bathroom because we're gonna go with like a green forest theme. Oh my God, that's so cute. You'll like that one. I don't like turkey. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh my gosh, you have to get that. Get that for a trip. That's not gonna fit. Oh in. my gosh. It says it's on a 12 month hanger. Are you but... freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, you guys. Why does Target have the cutest baby stuff? This is so perfect. We're going somewhere cold next week, and baby needs like little fuzzy warm mittens and stuff. So we're gonna get this one. Oh my gosh. Even this one. Oh, it's the same. I wish they had the Nordic for garden. I didn't take you guys in with us, but we just went to Home Depot and we got this little Yoda light up thing, but they also have it at Target. And we paid $35. We got years. ripped off. Come to Target if you guys want the blow up Grogu because save yourself some five dollar holla we need to get chevy a stocking i have to look online to see where we can get a customized one with his name you guys look they have a pink watermelon flavor and i cannot pass that up so we're gonna split one reminds me of my prego days Ooh. oops yum we just got home but we went to wendy's because it was right next door to Target and why hasn't anyone told me how good their fries are? We rarely eat fast food So honestly, I don't remember the last time I've ever had Wendy's maybe once or twice when I was a kid but Dude We are busting. I didn't get anything because I don't think they have any plant-based options there, but I got the ghost pepper ranch spicy chicken sandy and she looks delish, honestly. Okay, update. This is actually pretty fire. The chicken is a little bit spicy, which I love. But this lettuce, girl. The icicle lights are going up. This side of the house is all done. So pretty. <laughs> How cute! I had to come outside to show you guys our little Grogu. Look how cute he is. I'm literally obsessed. Eldin did such a good job with the lights too. They go around the house also, but this is what the front looks like. I love Christmas so much. I literally did the bare minimum in our guest bathroom, but no one ever really comes over anyway. So it's just a cute little festive touch. We ended up swapping out the hand towel. We kept shopping throughout Home Goods and then came across this one and it's so cute. You wanna hang up your ornament? Chevy's gonna hang up his first Christmas ornament. We don't know if he's gonna be left-handed like daddy or right-handed like mommy. Or we can even use your toe. Like what mommy. hand you wanna use? <laughs> yeah, also like mommy. You wanna hang it up? Let's hang it up together. I'm not gonna be able to do it like that. <laughs> Where should we hang it? Yeah, his hand can. <laughs> we'll hang it right here. Cute. Baby's first Christmas. From like grandma. From grandma and grandpa. He loves looking at all the lights. We had to get the decor up like quickly before our Friendsgiving. So this theme is, I don't know what theme. We just did like a little white moment. It's cute. It's cute, but it's so basic, especially compared to last year. If you guys haven't seen our last year's Christmas decorating video, I'll link it right here for you guys. Cause we went all out. It honestly came out so cute. We did a Candyland and gingerbread theme. So we did reuse some of the decor, but it's very, very simple. 
this year. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm still deciding. I might put some more on it later or even just take it all off and keep it plain. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, also, Eldon strung on the lights that we had. So we have some of those mixed in with the lights that came on the tree and it came out really pretty. I love it so much. Can I have a grape? Girl, those are cranberries. <laughs> oh yeah, these are little sugared cranberries. I think we got these at Michael's like years ago, but I just kind of stuffed it in. So it's like a subtle red and white theme. And then we also hung up our garland under the TV with our stockings, but we only have the two for me and Eldon. So we got to get Mr. Chevrolet over here, his own stocking. <laughs> Did you guys move the rug? Anytime they hear something at the front door, they literally come flying in here and the rug goes magic carpeting. I gotta get those like uh, rug grips so they don't move, but <laughs> look how freaking cute our entryway table came out. This is the first year I'm using this garland. I totally forgot I had them actually. There's two different pieces. I think it's like called the Nordic fur. I'm not too sure, but I wanted like this very lush foresty vibe. I can't remember where I got them from. I wanna say it was between Home Goods, Michaels, or maybe even Hobby Lobby. I know that does not help at all, but I genuinely cannot remember. But I didn't get to hang them up last year, so I literally forgot. And this year is the first year we're using them and they look so pretty. I just wanna put like little twinkle lights in there. I think that would be such a vibe. Baby just fell asleep, so we are currently setting up our Friendsgiving dining area. And it looks a little ghetto right now, not gonna lie. We only had beer pong tables and then our dining table, so we're like lining them all up. Hopefully once they're covered with the tablecloths, it'll look way better, but this is the best we could do right now because we have literally never had this many people in our house, like ever, so I'm a little scared. It's gonna be a little bit tight, but we're gonna make it work, mama. But can we talk about these flower arrangements? Look how freaking stunning they are. Shout out to our faves at Marlene's Flowers. They made them yesterday and dropped them off and I am absolutely obsessed. They are so beautiful. If you guys need flowers, arrangements, bouquets, definitely hit them up. I'll link them down below. They make the absolute most stunning flower arrangements. They also did our baby shower, so they definitely have a special place in our heart. We love you guys so much. We're trying to figure out how many times we need to cut this thing three. to make One, it fit. Two, three, two, three, yeah. Okay. Okay. Look how cute these mini pumpkins and squashes are. They're so freaking cute. Eldon found them at Vaughn's and we got them for a little decor moment. Look at that. Cute. Maybe this one and this one. Where should we put these? Um, maybe on the ends? I don't know. These are little fake candle like lanterns, little pumpkins. They're made out of wax. We got them at Target. Yeah, they're battery operated. I think maybe right here. She's cute. We have this really pretty tree out here and the leaves are very fall vibes. A little ganja moment, if you will. They kind of look like the ganja, huh? 
They're so pretty. Look at these, how pretty. Eldon just walked down the street and got these from a tree and they go with the baby ones perfectly. Welcome to our Friendsgiving! It came out so pretty. I love it so much. I wanted to set the mood with this up lighting, so we ordered these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're really cool because you can change them to like literally any color. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about our little twinkle lights. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, I love the little fairy lights. Like that truly made it perfect now. I'm obsessed. Chevy all ready for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Is he smiley? Yeah, no one to meeting Emily. Do you want to meet Emily? Yeah? Yeah? See her? <laughs> Is Auntie Laura's here? Yeah. Yeah, Laura that saw him come right out the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first time meeting the whole gang. Oh my gosh, so big. <laughs> oh my goodness, so gross. <laughs> we got Ryan over here making a char charcuterie. I was like, what did you call it again? A charcuterie board. Yum. I can't wait to see it done. He's so creative. Uh oh. <laughs> I think he wants to go home with you. <laughs> He's like, I remember you. Aww. Guess who I made hold him? Jesus. This girl. <laughs> <laughs> you look cute with the kid, Jesus. Oh no. He <laughs> <laughs> said, like, like, I know. <laughs> it looks so cute. Chevy, are you in danger? Blink. <laughs> okay, me. Yeah? <laughs> huh?
goodness. Everybody's lining up for dinner. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so amazing. I'm having a proud host moment. I have to make my plate, but I'm being a mom right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. And just like that, y'all, it's like nothing ever happened. I just finished cleaning. It's 5.35 in the morning, and I'm so beyond exhausted. I can't even think right now. I was also up till 6 a.m. yesterday morning prepping. I had to feed baby after everybody left. I think they left at almost 1 in the morning. And Eldon and I had to consolidate all the leftovers, put it away. I asked everybody to take as much as they possibly could, but we still had so much leftovers. I do be a clean freak, so I like to thoroughly wash my dishes um, by hand. And this is already the second load. <laughs> so I'm like, ugh, I'm just so exhausted right now. And then Eldon already broke down the beer pong tables and I made sure the girls took the arrangements home because we are leaving in a couple days. So I didn't want them going to waste, but I also cleaned all the floors already in the whole house. And I feel so good right now, but I'm exhausted. So it is time to say goodnight. Chevy's first rainy day. It's raining outside, Bubba. You watching the rain? It's the first time you're seeing rain. If you were in Hawaii, where mommy and daddy are from, you would have seen it by now. <laughs> you like it, Bubba? <laughs> Thank goodness the rain came today and not yesterday because that would have been a disaster with 20 people coming in from the rain in here. Oh my gosh, my OCD would have been freaking out. <laughs>